Hello and welcome to LPM 101 video on the Glide Glass Teleprompter Kit that we have here at Lama Public Media, available in use at the studio here or uh, for you to rent and check out um, and use it at a production at home, you know, at a business or whatever you'd like. Um, so just quick little class and tutorial on how to use this, how to put it together, um, and let's get started. So as you can see, it uh, comes in this uh, black and yellow bag. It's pretty small. Um, when you go to open it, you'll notice that it comes, this is what it looks like on the inside. So it's got um, one of these, uh, and this is what uh, is used to cover um, the back of the teleprompter kit so that uh, there is no um, light reflected um, onto the teleprompter so that you can actually see what you want to read. The actual teleprompter looks like this. So the first thing you'll notice is uh, on the left and right side, there's these two little uh, silver screws. So to set up your teleprompter, what you'll need to do is you take these out and as you'll now see, it's a little loose. And on the left and right side, uh, right in here, you can see that there are additional holes uh, for you to use uh, the screws in. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's one on the right side and you'll use those same uh, metal screws. So there's one and then just line it up for the other side. And there we go. So you just want to make sure that it's tightened and then that way you have a nice um, 45 degree angle um, for um, the um, teleprompter uh, screen of your choice. And that's where this will, that's where the screen will go is right here. So uh, let's just kind of show you uh, how to put that together. So I do have a stand here and let me just kind of extend the legs. And I'm gonna take uh, this base plate off of the v VT, uh, the Magnus VT300, which is a stand that we have here at LPM. And again, you can uh, check out and use at home at a business or wherever you like. Just check out our uh, equipment rental store uh, online at our website at llamapulpmedia.org. So um, what you'll do is at the bottom of this base plate, you'll see that there are two inserts here. So you wanna get that, uh, that screw on the base plate and just align it and there is an end for it. So here's, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that up. So now the base plate is attached to the bottom of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to um, our tripod. And there you go. So now it's attached to the uh, tripod, like so. And again, you can move it. Obviously, that's just the tripod. So the next thing you'll wanna do um, is, let's say you have a teleprompter device of your choice. You can use a phone. Um, we personally like to use iPads here. Um, and again, you can check these out as part of, um, yeah, just equipment you can use uh, at LPM. So we'll just uh, open up um, one of the teleprompter apps that we have. Um, there's a couple that uh, you can use. Uh, the one that we tend to like to use is either Prompt Smart Pro, but there's a bunch of them that you can use. Um, so anyway, what you'll wanna do is obviously load up the app you know, on the teleprompter. I'm just gonna pick one. Um, so then what you'll do, and this is again, using this part of it right here, is this will hold the device. So for an iPad, uh, you just kind of slide it in here. And then put it, you know, make sure the end is quite snug and is able to hold the, the device in place. 
And then assuming that you had, you know, you definitely will need a camera. You can either put a phone or one of the Lumixes um, or uh, any other type of camera. You want to put it on this side of the glass. So using kind of my phone as a reference, you're going to want to put, put it like this. That way, obviously, the lens is pointing out this way and you're able to capture what it is that's coming out. So once you have that device there, you're gonna wanna use this guy um, to cover it. So uh, I like to kind of put uh, this string kind of around the base here, and then it has Velcro all the way around the top. So then just kind of make it nice and snug. And you can also tighten this, and again, make sure that um, you know, you're trying to not let in as much light as possible. So now you can see the reflection of the iPad onto the glass, um, which is how the teleprompter works. Um, so what we would do here is make sure that it's mirrored correctly, um, horizontally, uh, so that you can, you know, as it scrolls, and I'm here just um, hoping that you can see this, but as, you know, as the, the script um, that you have prepared, you know, goes, um, you're able to read it. Um, the other thing to keep in mind too is make sure that you set the margins um, to correctly um, match the, um, the glass. Otherwise, you're going to have some text that runs off and you're not really going to be able to see it. Um, and that's just, yeah, that's uh, a quick little uh, class and tutorial on how to use uh, this teleprompter set. Um, to, to tear it down, I would just um, take the iPad out or again, whatever teleprompter device of your choice. Take off um, the Velcro cover, and then take um, these, uh, this bottom base, and just make sure that um, it's all the way forward. That way, um, when you take these screws off, that it has uh, something for it to lean on, like so. So I just kind of take these, again, take these screws off. Um, like so, kind of hold it so it doesn't fall on you and, and break the glass. And then just move this forward a little bit and just kind of gently lay down. And then I put these screws back on the side where they were, just so that we don't lose them. And then you'll want to grab your bag. Make sure the base plate goes back. Put it back in the uh, bag like so. Put this guy, kind of cover it like this, put it on top, cover it, and that's it. So we hope you enjoy this uh, 101. Uh, if you'd like to come and use the teleprompter, please uh, swing by LPM and check it out yourself. Um, or if you want to use it at home, uh, please check out our equipment rental store. Uh, just for more information, check out longpublicmedia.org. I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.